Hi guys! Today I wanted to share with you guys some of my empties which also happen to coincide with my Sephora favorites because it is one of my favorite times of the year, the spring Sephora sale. I am a VIB Rouge, let's please not calculate how much money I have spent at Sephora, but it is literally the one time of year where I will go all in and stock up on my goods. Before when I used to be more like adventurous with trying new makeup looks and things like that, I feel like this was my time when I would like really splurge but now that I've gotten older and I'm trying to like minimize it's really just a sale for me to like stock up on goods and like maybe try out like one or two new skincare products so yeah I just wanted to share with you guys some of my beauty favorites my skincare favorites hair care favorites so let's get started I'm gonna start with skincare because I am obsessed with skincare. Honestly, sounds so cliche, right? But like taking care of your skin inside and out just makes the makeup application process so much easier. So I'm gonna do kind of like a step-by-step -step process. Please excuse my hair if I keep like pushing it back. I haven't had my bangs this long since I want to say like 2007 and I desperately needed a haircut before quarantine and now I like I, I don't even know what to do with her like it's just how she's gonna behave and we're just gonna have to deal with it so before I get started on the skincare I want to tell you my skin type just because I feel like when I first started watching YouTube and like would get all these like beauty gurus recommending all these products I noticed that I would literally try all these skincare products without knowing what kind of skin type they had and so I broke out a lot. I have very oily skin and I am prone to sensitivity but my sensitivity doesn't come off as like red spots or like splotches in the way that they do for my friends. My sensitivity comes out in breakouts so I will always notice if a product is working well or not for me if once I start using it like within a day or two I will literally start breaking out in spots that I don't typically break out in. So like you know chin like jawline stuff that's pretty hormonal but if I ever get like pimples kind of in this area that I know that the product is not working for me so first up I'm going to talk about Kiehl's this is the calendula herbal extract toner alcohol free as you can see here I've used it empty it's a brand that I've tried through and through and it just like really works for me there's a period of time when I was living in New York and I was still getting like a lot of breakouts and I just really wanted to kind of manage my oil control and stuff like that so I used an entire Kiehl's routine and I kept using it until the point I noticed that I was getting like dry spots and I went back to the Kiehl's counter and I was like I don't know why I keep getting these dry spots like I think that my skin's starting to get dry now she was like honey you don't have acne prone skin anymore and I was like what? So since then, she introduced me to this toner and a more hydrating routine, which I still incorporate a lot of those tips and tricks now. But yeah, this toner is just so good. It smells great. Um, the way I use toner is I use it on one of my like reusable cotton pads, and it's kind of like a third cleanse, if you will. In the mornings, I won't wash my face, and I'll just do the toner, and that's kind of just like a way for me to like wipe off maybe some of like the dirt that might have accumulated on my face overnight and then at night I use it to get all in like the nooks and crannies of my face and like even behind my ear just in case I wasn't like thorough enough with my cleanser. Next up is Purity by Philosophy. I no joke have been using this cleanser since also the last time I cut my bangs like this. I've been using this for over a decade for sure. I love this cleanser. It's so gentle. It gets off all of my makeup. So for me, I don't typically like to use like cleansing balms or cleansing oils. And the reason why is because I've really oily skin and therefore my eyelids will have this like oil buildup and they'll build up into these little like, they look like little whiteheads on like my waterline. And sometimes they can get quite painful. It's not a dye it's like oil because like eventually it kind of like pops out I know that's probably TMI and like really disgusting but I've just noticed that whenever I use cleansing oils and balms and things like that it like clogs up those pores even more so I don't like to go in with that so purity it's just ugh, it's the best like it just gets off all of my makeup so that by the time I get to that toner step my cotton pad is basically like 
clean. Like I don't have any leftover makeup, eyeliner or anything. I will say that if I use like a waterproof mascara, which I'm using today, I do need like one of those makeup removers that's like the double layer ones. I'm using a Clarins one right now because the Anna Edit recommended it. And so I'll usually swipe that off before I get into the shower, use this as my first cleanse, and then I'll go in with like either a more hydrating cleanser or whatever, but this is definitely my first cleanse and I actually buy this in like the huge one with the pump. So yeah, love this cleanser. So this next product is probably one of like the newer products that I've incorporated into my skincare routine. It is the Biosan Squalane Omega Repair Cream. It is a super like moisturizing feeling cream without feeling too heavy. I thought that maybe the gel moisturizer would work better with my skincare, but um, the lady at the Sephora Biosense counter recommended this cream for me. It doesn't leave me feeling like sticky or uncomfortable. It's just like really nourishing and I feel like every time I use it, my skin is just like very, very pleased with me. The last three skincare bits are going to be more of like treatments. I'm gonna start off with this one. It is the First Aid Beauty Skin Lab Resurfacing Liquid liquid 10% AHA. I got recommended this product when I was getting a facial at Sicily in New York. One of the most luxurious facials, by the way. It was just so nice to have all those like products smeared into my face, but what I really, really appreciated about the woman who was giving me a facial was that when I told her I had really oily skin, really big pores, and like all of these problems, she didn't recommend me a Sisley product because if you guys know, like Sisley is extremely expensive. I've only used like a handful of their products and it's really, really hard to justify that price point unless I'm like passing through a European airport where I can get things for much, much cheaper. But I have been without this product for maybe a month and a half, two months now and I am dying for it back in my routine. I just feel like whenever I use this product, my skin, ugh, it's just so happy. It's so happy. And I feel like I don't break out as much just because with oily skin, my dead skin cells don't like come off as easily as people with dry skin. So I feel like I constantly have to like resurface my skin using like chemical exfoliants. And sometimes I use physical scrubs if I'm feeling like really congested, but I try to concentrate it in like the areas where my pores get like very congested. But this is a holy grail product. I have used it consistently for I think like two years, if not more. And this is my first time I've gone without it in two years and I'm like, dying for my Sephora order to get here because a brand new baby bottle is in there and I'm so excited to have this back in my routine. Um, next up is another brand that is like very near and dear to my heart, which is Sunday Riley. This is their UFO oil. It is a clarifying oil. And if I have not mentioned 800 million times by now, pores get congested very easily. So I love to go in with this oil right before my night cream. It's a great oil. I feel like anytime I felt like something coming on, it would really help treat those spots. I will say not a huge fan of the smell. It doesn't really bother me that much but like I think when you're putting it on it is like kind of overwhelming but it doesn't linger if that makes you feel any better but yeah love this oil feel like it was a really great treatment didn't dry my skin out at all and it really helped me control my breakouts because it has 1.5% salicylic acid Okay, last up on my skincare favorites, another skincare favorite brand. It is Fresh Umbrian Clay Purifying Mask. Guys, this mask is so, so good. I don't know how they do it. I feel like I'm always the one trying out a bunch of clay masks because I'm just trying to control the oil on my face and control the breakouts. And this mask doesn't feel drying. Like I feel like a lot of the times when I use clay masks, by the time I'm done, like I can't move my face and I just go around like this and I, until I wash it off again. But with this mask, it gets the job done without being too stripping and drying. And I mean, honestly, favorite brands really truly are like Kiehl's, Biosan, Fresh, and Sunday Riley. Every time I've used their products, it's just ugh, solid products. Okay, moving on to hair care. I don't do a lot to my hair. Only more recently have I learned to like 
curl my hair even I mean I don't even think I did that good of a job today but I feel like in the past year or so I've like really started to look into like taking care of my hair better um, I'm going to recommend the product that I use that you can find on Sephora but maybe I'll do like a more in-depth hair care tutorial of like what I actually do to maintain my hair I have not dyed my hair in two years now I've gone in every once in a long while I haven't done it for a few months now but I'll go in with like a hair lightening spray but other than that, this is pretty much my natural hair color. But yeah, in the past year or so, I feel like I've really, really learned to take care of my skin. So I've been really wanting to shift that focus back to my hair. I have very fine hair and very little hair, which my friends will always tease me about when I like tie up my hair and there's like a bald spot on the side of my head. Um, endearingly, of course, they like to send me hair thinning ads. Anyway, that's the kind of friendship that I have with my friends. I have to wash my hair every single day. Most of the time, even the day that I do wash my hair, by the end of the day, it's like flat and I just don't have enough of it. And I have tried to not wash my hair every single day. It just ain't happening, okay? Like, my hair is going to be the way that she is and she's not gonna change. We've talked about it. We've had long lectures and discussions. This is just how she is, okay? So let's just leave it there. But products that I feel like have really helped me out in the past six months to a year are these. I have them upside down just because, to be honest, I don't really like the packaging of these because I feel like from the beginning I've had to have them upside down because it's really hard to squeeze the product out. But it is the Olaplex shampoo and conditioner. Um, I'm really lazy and I don't use their like hair perfecting mask as much as I should, but I do feel like these two products have really given that like shine and and like healthiness back into my hair. Love the smell, love the products. Um, I feel like every time I use them, I'm just like, oh my God, you're so precious. It always makes my hair feeling super hydrated, smells really good, keeps my hair quite fresh, like honestly as fresh as it can get considering the fact that like I have very little of it, but my hair loves it, I love it. So once I'm out of the shower, I usually use like a leave-in conditioner and then I go in with this. It is the Playa Endless Summer Spray. I love salt sprays. It really gives me the texture and like oomph that my hair really needs. This really gives it that like grit so that it makes me look like I have more hair. I mean, if I really truly do like a hair care video, it's basically just me trying to put in a bunch of products in my hair to make it look like I have more hair. My thin haired girls will know what I'm talking about. <laughs> After I'm done putting the salt spray in my hair, blow drying my hair, I just douse it in this Living Proof Full Dry Volume Blast. It truly is a blast. I love it. I feel like it gives me a lot of volume. I am also without this I genuinely cannot tell you how excited I am for my Sephora package to get here But yeah, love this texturizing spray I feel like I can just go in and just douse myself in it sometimes to the point where I like actually have to open a window and like leave the room but yeah it has a great hold again makes me look like I have a lot more hair than I actually do so I love it okay so last up I'm going to finish all my beauty bits I honestly feel like my beauty routine is super super like simplified now like before I used to go in with like the glitter and this and that and this and that and now I just honestly can't be bothered especially in quarantine I do have some fun products here and there but like these are more of my daily routine products first up up, I will start off with this. It is the NARS Creamy Concealer. I am in the color Medium One Custard. I used to use this concealer as like a spot treatment, but since I have been taking care of my skin better, I feel like I just kind of use this as like a faux foundation. I'll put like a couple dots on my cheeks. Like as you can see, I kind of have like redness on my cheeks just naturally, especially like when I work out. When I work out or like if it's really hot, my cheeks tend to get really flushed. So I'll try to tone that down with this and I'll just dot it on my cheeks, a little bit on my forehead, some on my chin, and then blend that out and call it a day. And that's pretty much like what I use as like my base is good coverage. It doesn't really build up the way that some other concealers will. And yeah, I think it's just like a really great formula and it's like a really easy way to get some coverage and like move on with my day. Next up is also a product that's probably been in my routine since I want to say like 
2010. 2009 2010 it is the Too Faced shadow insurance eyeshadow primer my eyelids don't really get oily it's like literally the only part of my face that does not get oily but I feel like this helps my eyeliner stay in place so what I'll typically do is like slab some of this on there put on eyeshadow and then put on eyeliner I feel like when I do these two steps prior it just really helps my eyeliner stay like if I ever put on eyeliner directly onto my eyelids it just smears and it also is not as dark so I love this stuff I repurchase it like once every year and a half and yeah I've probably been using this for over a decade as well Next up is bronzer. It is the Marc Jacobs Omega Bronze in 104 Tantastic. You have to say it like that because there's an exclamation point at the end. When I first saw this bronzer, I was like, it's freaking ridiculous. I mean, like, look at how big it is in comparison to my face. But the Anna Edit kept talking about it and talking about how she loved it for travel. I mean, the minute she said that, I was completely sold. Just because it has like a big mirror. Oh, look, there you are. Um, just because it has a big mirror, this bronzer is so good. I actually use this as my eyeshadow as well. So I usually go in with like a fluffy brush, you know, try to give myself a little bit of that sun-kissed glow. And yeah, I do love this product for travel. It has a really big mirror. So whenever I'm traveling and there's no good mirror for me to do my makeup, I'm able to like you know, portably walk around my hotel room with this and <laughs> I'm usually always like trying to go up to the light or like a window and like look at myself like to make sure my eyeliner is even and things like that. But yeah, it's a great color. I really like how big it is actually. Uh, I feel like sometimes when bronzers are too small, like the Kevin Aquan like sculpting powder, I like can't get my brush in to get the products versus this. I can just like swirl it around, swirl it on my face and it's a great time. We're down to my last two products. I'm talking for much longer than I ever anticipated. Your girl loves her eyeliner. Eyeliner that I have been recently really, really obsessed with is this. It is the Tom Ford Eye Defining Pen. And yes, it does cost an arm and a leg, so I will only ever purchase this um, when it's like on sale. But it is dual tipped, so there is a felt tip side and then a brush tip side. I am definitely more of a brush tip kind of girl. They just work better for me. It's really good for me to be able to like get into that like defined point that I really love. And then I go in with that felt tip side to kind of fill in the gaps because your girl has mono lids and I have to cover a lot of surface area. Therefore, I use a lot of eyeliner. As of right now, with this pen in particular, the brush side has already run out of ink, but the felt tip side has not. So I've been using like two eyeliners, one with a brush tip, one with a felt tip. But love this eyeliner. It's really pigmented, lasts a really long time, does not smudge. I mean, that's really all you can ask for in an eyeliner. Okay, my final product. It is a new beauty brand that I've become recently like extremely obsessed with. It is Kosas and these are their cream blushes. I've always been afraid to use cream products because I was like, oh, I have really oily skin and it's gonna like look oily and cakey and like probably not cute. But I am freaking obsessed with these. I like them so much, I bought them in two colors. So I have the colors Tropic Equinox, which is kind of more of like a bronzy uh, nude, I guess I would say. I use this a lot in like the autumn and winter. And then like, because spring was coming, I was like, oh, well, I kind of want to get like a more spring, like fresh look. But yeah, the products are super creamy. Like I'm dipping them in my finger like that. And like, look at that. Ah! <gasps> beautiful they go on the skin really easily to be honest like you don't need a lot like look at that that was just like barely a dip and that was already like so much color payoff velvet moon this is tropic equinox and i just feel like they're really nice products they blend into the skin really easily they give me that like perfect flushed and like i love the way that cream highlighter looks it's still glittery but it's not 
like Kardashian <laughs> glittery, you know? These products are just like beautifully formulated. The colors are really great. I have a kind of a mix of both on my cheeks right now because I originally started with the Tropic Equinox and I was like, wait, it's spring. And so I should have more color in my face. So switched over with like a little bit of the Velvet Moon. Really, really love these. I also ordered their concealer. A lot of people have been talking about that and their bronzer. So yeah, I'm really, really excited to try more of their products. So that about wraps it up for me today. Obviously we're going through a pandemic right now. So purchase consciously, purchase wisely. Don't purchase anything that you don't feel like you'll actually incorporate into your routine because I've done that way too many times where I'll buy a palette or buy a product where I'm like, oh my God, it looks so gorgeous on so-and-so and then I never end up reaching for it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye! I was like, oh, I'm gonna try to keep my videos to like under 10 minutes. That's really difficult. I really like to talk and I really like skincare and beauty, so.